You know, the thing about food is that it's never just about the food. The sources, the origins, and the roots of different food ways are all intrinsically tied to our humanity. From iHeartRadio and Whetstone Magazine comes Point of Origin, a podcast dedicated to exploring that connection. We travel the globe to connect with those immersed in different food ways from Korea to Norway, from Nigeria to the Appalachian Mountains, and beyond. Find Point of Origin Season 2 on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you listen to podcasts. Coming up at the top of the hour, right about four minutes after, it's my strawberry letter for today. Subject, his wife was very calm on the phone. Now, that sounds like a prank phone call, but nope, it's a strawberry letter. Uh, Uh Speaking of a prank phone call, the nephew is here with today's prank. What you got for his nephew? It's 2020, Shirley. It's Valentine's week. This right here, Uh Uh edible fruit delivery. Edible fruit delivery. What other kind of fruit is it if it's not edible? <laughs> I got a fruit Fake. delivery. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go, Ken. Hello, storage. How can I help you? Hi, I'm trying to find Chad. He's not in right now. How can I help you? Okay. All right. Well, I'm sorry, ma'am. What's your name? Who is this? My name is Perkins. I actually have a delivery, uh, uh, edible fruit delivery for Chad, and I'm trying to make sure I got the address and everything correct. Oh, um, well, who's it from? I think it's from you. You um your name is what's your name again? Davina. I didn't order any any edible arrangements. Okay. It's for Valentine's. Let me see. Yeah, that that, uh, that definitely must be a mistake. It, you sure it wasn't Chad ordered some edible arrangements from me? I think that that might make some sense. Oh, it's for Chad. Okay, here it is. Who's who who sent this? Miss Dorita. Dorita. Oh, Oh, no, 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 no. That's not me at all. I'm Davina, and that doesn't make your any sense your name why is, she would send anything. Is, oh, right. Oh, oh. I'm, I'm Chad White. So your name White. is Davina, but that's the right. name that's that a sent totally is... different person. Okay, so do you know Dorita Clark? Who is that? Oh, that's not someone I associate with personally. That's Chad's ex-wife, and that doesn't make any sense for her to be sending us anything. So you don't you don't even have well, to worry about it. I don't think she sent us. And she didn't send it. She, she sent this to Chad. She didn't send it to you. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna let you know we don't need that delivery. So thank you anyway. You can go ahead and um, and you can keep that for yourself. Oh, no, no, but no, 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 Hold on, hold on, Miss. Um, I'll make sure I say right name. Uh, hey, don't worry. Don't 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 worry too much about that. If I don't make my deliveries. I, I don't get paid. I have to deliver these, uh, this edible fruit, man. Okay, I have well, to deliver. it just doesn't make any sense, so I'll just discard it myself if you if you need to bring it. But I'm sure well, you I have to bring it. it but let me, let, me, let me ask you something. I mean, this lady, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm not trying to pry into anything, but, I mean, have you have you bought him anything for Valentine's? No, I, I haven't, but I have plenty of time so to get him bought them, but, the, but the ex-wife didn't bought something. That don't make sense all to right. me. Why, why haven't you bought anything all for right. your husband? All right. I don't think you need to worry about what I get for my man or what I don't get for my husband, all right? That's none of your concern. Well, and well neither evidently is... this other lady, Ms. Dorita, is concerned about making sure he gets something. I'm sorry. Who am I speaking to? My name is Perkins. Okay. And I already told you we don't need no guy delivery. I don't need you asking me questions about and my And I told you I got in order for me else. to get paid. All right. Well. Let me tell you, I'm not going to fight, fight with you on the phone. We're not going to be two fools here I'm arguing. I'm all set. Either. We don't need anything. Uh, what? No, I need, you don't I'm need not, to be on the I phone need to know when, Mr. You don't need to be questioning I, me about what I do or don't do for my husband. That's absolutely none of your goddamn business. I, I need to know when Mr. Respectful. Chad is going to be there. So Mr. Chad no, might want Don't worry so much about Chad. This is our family business. Family business. And I'm his wife. Do you understand what that means? I'm his okay, wife. I understand that. But evidently his ex-wife wants him to have his fruit. It's you are really pissing me off. Chad, and I, I, I'm not going to say I'm not going to come deliver nothing to you, and you're going to throw it away. This is Chad's fruit basket. And she, did she send you? Did Dorita send you specifically? I work. I, I just want to understand what the living. hell is going on because you seem really invested in 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 my husband's ex-wife. I don't even understand why, but it's going to piss me off. So I want some answers. And you use the right word. You're not invested in Chad. Why haven't you bought anything for Chad? His ex-wife is Perkins? buying fruit. Perkins, I'm going to need you to speak to your goddamn manager because I'm getting real upset right now and you don't want no problems with me. So why don't you hand over your manager the phone and we're going to settle this. Me and your manager, and I don't want to ever see you because I, I don't even know what I'm going to do. I've been so disrespected on this goddamn phone call right now. I've ruined my whole damn day. So why don't you pass your manager the phone? 
I'm not finna really put you on the phone with my manager and I lose oh, my job. Oh, you're gonna have to put me on the phone with your manager. You don't have to put me. I'm gonna call back. I'm gonna make sure you get fired for disrespecting me. You taking your anger out on the ex-wife and you taking it out on me. The anger that you have for her, you taking it out on me. That's what you're doing. No, I'm taking out the disrespect that you keep laying on top of me like like you don't know how to talk to somebody. I don't see how you have this job calling me, disrespecting me like this. All I'm saying is the lady won't Chad to have this proof back. That's none of your f***ing business. None of your f***ing business. So like I said, give your manager the phone because I'm see to it that you're fired. Okay, okay, all right. Can you hold on for a minute? Yeah, I can hold on. Go ahead. Hey, Tom, this is the man's wife. She don't want me to deliver the stuff because the ex-wife is who sent it to him. And she Are don't want Serious? So Why now, now she got Why attitude and she cussing at me, and I've been talking crazy to her, and I have it. They get I talking can't. about the bouquet of stuff is for for him, the fruit basket. I need you to to just give your manager the phone. If that's enough explaining, I'm gonna tell him what happened. Hello. And he's just Hello. The phone over. Hello. Who am I speaking? Who am I speaking with, please? Hi, my name is Davina, and I need to talk to you about your your customer service delivery person, whatever he is. I have been so disrespected on the phone. I, I've never been met with such hostility on the phone before. Uh, at this point, I just I, I, I just want to put this behind me. I just want you to take care. Make sure you speak to him. Penalize him if, if he doesn't understand what he just did. But he just he just I will. I will. I will. I will definitely and, and, reprimand him and, for that. Yeah, I would, and I don't want him making no delivery. Not to my not to my place of this. I'm here on Friday all day. I don't need any okay. d- delivery. So can I, can I, you don't want him to make the delivery, but can I ask no, you a don't question? Make the delivery. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Okay, I can't take it. I can't take it. Listen, this is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. All right, your husband Chad got me to prank phone call you. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? <laughs> This is Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Your husband, Chad, got me to prank phone call you. Oh, my f***ing God. I can't even believe this. Are you serious? Me and your husband, Chad, got you, girl. <laughs> wow. I'm so stressed. I'm, I'm going to kill my husband. <laughs> Let me ask you something, baby. It's 2020. What's the baddest, and I mean the baddest radio show in the land? <laughs> the Steve Harvey Morning Show, for sure. <laughs> it's Valentine's, you know what I mean? It's Valentine's. Damn. <laughs> yeah. 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 I, think, I, think, I, I think the way it's going to happen to you this year, Tommy, I, don't, I think it's going to be a stabbing. Oh, no, oh, you know, uh, I was yeah. thinking the same. Either yeah, stabbing or a hostage taking. What's yeah, up? Yeah. Something, something you're going to have to suffer through. Yeah. Uh, either that, you're going to be get stabbed, or your ass going to be duct taped in a trunk. <laughs> Just those two, I driving around Vegas. I oh, know. Uh-uh. He said driving around Vegas. Yeah, hot. <laughs> For Vegas, though. Hot. Mm-hmm. Shut your ass up. <laughs> Like hangover. <laughs> Told you not to play with me. <laughs> yeah. Praise uh, ain't so funny now. Right. Mm-hmm. Oh God. Mr. Oh, funny man. prank man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, somebody gotta do it, y'all. I got to be the one. Comedy mm-hmm. Live Fest coming your way this weekend on the 14th. That's Friday, Valentine's Day. We will be in Cleveland, yeah. Ohio. That's right, that's right. That is the family hometown right oh. there. Uncle Steve, you ought to come through, huh? Hometown, Cleveland. Nah, I got to do a family, celebrity family feud. Okay, okay. On the 15th, Cincinnati, Ohio, and on the 16th, Memphis, Tennessee. That's me, said the entertainer, D.L. Hughley, Dion Cole, and Earthquake, shaking it up Valentine's weekend. Y'all don't want to miss it. Tickets are available at all Ticketmaster outlets and at, uh, at any box office. Get it. I'm coming to town. It ain't nobody finna do nothing to me. I don't care if I prank you or not. I do what I do. Okay. I do what I do. All right. Thank you, nephew. Coming up next, it is the strawberry letter subject. His wife was very calm on the phone. We'll get into it right after this. Disgraceland, a music and true crime podcast about musicians getting away with murder and behaving very badly. Hosted by me, Jake Brennan, is back with season five on March 10th, 2020. And you're not going to want to miss new episodes on Guns N' Roses, Jay-Z, Prince, Ozzy Osbourne, Nipsey Hussle, The Rolling Stones, and more. You can listen to Disgraceland on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Rock-a-roll. 
Hi, everyone. This is Rosalind Sanchez and Eric Winter. And we have a podcast called He Said Ella Dijo. Am I even a part of this thing? Can uh, I say my own name? Okay. Say your name. I'm Eric Winter. Wow. Interesting. We Eric have a podcast Winter. called He Said Ella Dijo. It's about our conflicting personalities and our differences of opinion about everything. Guys, it's funny. Check it out. Find He Said Ella Dijo. On the iHeartRadio app, on Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Your podcasts.